Hey guys and welcome to the fish room. I'm Rachel O'Leary and it's time for a species spotlight. This week we're going to talk about the dwarf scissor tail, Rasbosoma spilocerca, which looks a lot like the full size scissor tail, but they only get about an inch long. Now they're not the flashiest of little fish, but they are very outgoing and are exceptional in a small planted tank. And unlike a lot of the other little tiny schoolers, they don't come from dark waters, they come from clear water, which makes them ideal for a highlight setup. So let's take a look. So I've stuck a group of these guys in my handy dandy little hanging specimen container and added an adult cherry shrimp so you can get an idea of scale. As you can see, they're relatively small, just about an inch. The largest female is getting about 1.2 inches. The females are noticeably fatter and slightly larger than the males, which are thinner. And the males can get almost a pinkish color with a yellow tinge to their fins when in breeding dress. Now these guys take a range of temperatures, anywhere in the 70s really, with mid 70s being ideal. Despite their small stature, they're extremely easy to feed, really eating any dried foods. In the wild, they would eat small insects, zooplankton, worms, things like that. Now they come from the lower Mekong Basin in Thailand and Cambodia where they're found alongside fish like Bararis, wild bettas, trigonostigmas, and loaches like coolie loaches. Unique to other small fish, these guys are found in clear waters which makes them ideal inhabitants for a high-tech, high-light setup. The waters that they're found in are relatively shadow but have thick planting. Again, this makes them perfect for a small, brightly lit, heavily planted tank. And while they're not as flashy as a lot of the other small fish, they have a subtle beauty with that scissor tail that I just find really appealing. You can see that they're pretty good directional schoolers. They stay in relatively tight groups, often facing the same direction. They're egg scatterers, meaning they exhibit no parental care and when conditioned properly will routinely spawn. You would want to mop spawn them if you were trying to raise a lot of them. Just an interesting small versatile fish that I believe deserves a lot more popularity in the hobby. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss any of my bonus videos as well as my Tuesday tips and Sunday species spotlights. Make sure you stop by my Facebook as well as my website, MsJinx.com, where you can find my upcoming speaking engagements, my current stock list, and information on all things nano. As always, let me know below if you have any comments, suggestions, or questions.